Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's going to be a quick one. Uh, basically, especially if you find a mower, uh, you really don't know what adjustments were made. Uh, one important thing is the RPMs. You want to make sure that that's correct. Now the manual says this should be 2900 plus or minus 150. So what I have here, let's zoom in a little better. Now, I did do a video like this with the snowblower in the past, but I wanted to do it with a lawnmower. Here we have an RPM gauge. Uh, it's very cheap. Uh, I think it was might have been eight dollars, ten bucks, something like that. But we're going to use that. And what you do is you wrap it around. You wrap the wire maybe around four or five times around this uh, spark plug wire and try to keep the wire out of the way as best as you can. And I just kind of wrapped it and taped it here, just so it doesn't get caught in the engine, or it's, it's a pretty long wire. Uh, and then what I have up here is just a clamp, just a regular clamp, so that I can clamp down this handle to keep it running. And then what I'll do is take a screwdriver, if I have to, and there's an idle screw right there. Now, the other way you would adjust it is the governor arm. Now, unless somebody uh, messed with that, typically you don't have to mess with the governor. Uh, we're going to just try the idle screw. Uh, we'll put the camera up on the screen here, start her up, and we'll get you to see what the RPM is. So let's do that. Alright guys, as you can see, it was pretty much on point, uh, 2920, uh, that's a normal RPM for this engine. The uh, reason why that's important is because if it can overheat, you can ruin your connecting rod uh, if it's, the RPMs are too high. So it's a good uh, measure to check that. And I hope this video helped you today. It's an easy one, simple one, and uh, we'll see you next time.